Dr. Yonda Carnot, director of the Central Research Laboratory, is on her way to a briefing session with top research scientist and theoretician, Dr. Richard Boltzmann. Dr. Carnot finds Dr. Boltzmann busy looking through a microscope. The clone protesters are starting to be a pain in my ass. I'm afraid we have more pressing things to deal with now. The maggots? That's right, Dr. Carnot. Well, Dr. Boltzmann, I hope you have some good news for us. They are reproducing at exponential rates all over the city. The worst part is, though, although this seems impossible, they seem to be increasing in size as well as numbers. Unfortunately, Dr. Carno, it is not impossible. These tissue samples we've been working on all night confirm my worst fears. Some years ago, before you were brought in as director, we engineered an organism from an RNA retrovirus and a ubiquitous protozoan. We called it Carnivorous Robustus. It's an eating, reproducing machine. Its job was to eat all the polluted waste products out of all the polluted rivers. It prefers living tissue. But once it has eaten all the life out of the waters, it consumes the waste. The only way it stops is when it runs out of food. The theory was that once the rivers were clean, C. Robustus would die, and fish and other natural organisms could be introduced back into the clean water. Yes! Ah, unfortunately, the greenhouse flooding has put Robustus in contact with life on the land. Namely, the common maggot. A new mutant maggot has been formed with Robustus as the vector for the RNA retrovirus. The maggots will grow in size with each generation. Their numbers doubling every 12 hours until every living thing within reach has been consumed and exterminated. Oh, my God. Meanwhile, reporter Bruce Malton's girlfriend, Valerie, speaks to Bruce on the phone. Well, I'm over at your place, Bruce, but I don't know if I can stand waiting for you to get here. Sweetheart. I can't wait to see you either. I'm so horny, Bruce. I can't stand it. I'm going to be there soon, Val, but please make sure all the windows are all shut tight. These maggots are turning up everywhere. Don't worry, Bruce. I can take care of myself. I'm just going to slip out of my clothes, go into your bedroom, and crawl into bed, and wait until you get here. Ciao, babe. Ciao, Bruce. We see that Valerie wears no bra as she pulls off her T-shirt, exposing her ample breasts. She slips out of her skin-tight jeans and her cotton panties at one time and we can see her firm, creamy white buttocks sway from side to side as she walks towards the bedroom. What we also see, and what Valerie does not see, is that under the bed are three large, slimy maggots moving across the floor. These maggots are larger than any that we've seen so far. They are each the size of a large knockwurst. <laughs> 